Hey, Lama here. Welcome to preparing for Ark Survival Ascended. In this series, I started out fresh on the island on official PvE. This is Ark Survival Evolved, but I'm limited to only items and creatures available in the base game on the island to give a realistic perspective on what starting out on Ark Survival Ascended might be like. Hey, well with today's video, six days to go, and we are running out of time rapidly so it is time to do the swamp cave now normally i would do the swamp cave with uh, either a megatherium if i had cryopods or a baryonyx if i didn't but someone suggested breeding up some frogs so i thought well i've never done it with frogs before i might give it a go so i tamed a whole load of frogs i bred up this pair so i'd get a mate boost and here's what we got we got 6k stat um on health 375 melee, 874 stamina, not sure if the stamina is important. Um, I've got a 99 armor saddle, I think the other ones are 97, and three gas masks, and I've also got some stimulant, some water, and obviously some food too, so to help me through the cave. Um, I'm wearing ghillie gear other than the gas mask because uh, the swamp cave is quite hot. So I built a little outpost near the swamp cave so we can just head in there without too much of a drama. I brought the frogs over one at a time with the uh, Rhino. And luckily, because the servers are pretty much empty at this stage, um, building right next to the cave isn't really too much of an issue. Okay, so I've got the other frog following me so that uh, they stay close together and I get the mate boost of the male and female, because that's gonna help them stay alive. I'm not sure how squishy these frogs are gonna be. Uh, now, Here's the entrance to the cave. At this stage, we have to put on our gas mask because there is poisonous gas inside the cave. Now, what we'll have to watch with the um, frogs is Arthra Plura because they will spit at us and they will be able to damage our armor, um, including the gas mask, which is why I've got three. So um, I've got three chances of getting hit by Arthros <laughs> uh, and then it's kind of all over. I should have brought a rifle actually in hindsight and I could have shot them from a distance but there you go all right whoa look at that look at all those levels those high level creatures uh, so I think the frog's gonna be fine with the uh, Meganura the the snakes and spiders I'm a little more concerned about and the Arthros definitely um, you can see some of these are like wickedly high levels so 270 spider, 260 spider, 440 Meganura. Um, Alright, let's go. There's an Arthro, so we've got our first Arthropura. Um, I'm going to try and sort of stick back here, although I don't want the other frog getting too hurt because if it dies, then I lose my mate boost. Um, and that would be bad. Okay, Arthro gone. Cool, we've got a couple of snakes. And some killer snails. Watch the snails. Uh, another, that's a snake, good. All right. Uh, now, if you didn't know as well, frogs, uh, when they kill insects, yeah, you get uh, cementing paste. So um, instead of getting harvesting chitin from, uh, from the Meganura, these frogs will actually gather straight cementing paste. So this is also a really good way of getting cementing paste in fairly large quantities. Right, let's have a look what we've got. We've got some cementing paste, we've got some levels. Uh, I'm gonna drop the rest of that stuff. Uh, let's chuck these into melee. Okay, so the next section of the cave is going to have arthros in it. It's going to have well, all the same stuff, really. So let's just see. Oh, this one's not too bad, actually. So the one I'm riding, obviously, will take less damage because of its imprint. Um, it'll have, I think it's 30% less damage and gives 30% more uh, when you're riding it. The other one won't get that buff. Um, but obviously they are still mate boosted. They've done pretty well, actually. The one I'm riding's really not taking any damage, to be honest. 
Okay, let's uh, let's continue on. Arthros, hate Arthros. I'm gonna get this guy to go and attack the Arthro if I can. Oh, okay, no, or not. I'm really bad with the whistle. I don't know why I can't get the crosshair to come up. Normally you get a crosshair on the whistle. Um, there's either something's changed or something wrong with the, the settings. I've got crosshair enabled in options. I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, it definitely used to work on the PlayStation. <coughs> Alright, there's the Arthro gone. That's good news. Let's get the rest of this stuff out of the way. So I'm just watching my frog's health. He seems pretty good. Uh, can't really tell how the other one's doing, but this one's doing all right. He's got more levels. Now there are explorer notes further in the cave, but um, <clears throat> I won't get those until after I've killed most of the stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but this is a good cave to do with Explorer Notes. Now there's another tunnel um, through in the other direction uh, over there which I won't go to just yet um, because really I want to kind of focus on getting in, getting the artifact and getting out. Um, the frog seems to be doing quite well but I'm not getting too confident yet. The worst is still to come for sure. Yeah, we've got some cementing paste. cementing paste. Maybe they... I don't know, maybe all the Mega Neuras are coming for me. He's not killing many of them. I don't know if you get cementing paste from all uh, insects, because I notice the frogs are also picking up chitin, and I get the feeling they're getting that from the spiders, maybe. Or the Arthro. I don't know. I know the cementing paste they'll definitely get from the Meganura. Alright, let's continue into the next chamber. Yep, frog's still following, good. Alright, straight into the snakes. And we got a loot crate there, the blue loot crate. That's um pretty average to be honest but even though it's it is a blue loot crate but to be fair in this cave the loot crates are pretty good um, this is in fact this is the exact spot where I got my wreck saddle blueprint um, only it was a red crate spawned in, at the time um, and that was actually <laughs> that was actually my first trip inside the cave and I, I didn't um, come in here to get the artifact because that's what I'm doing this time but um, I came in here while I had the uh, Leopluridon loot buff and so the intent there was literally to be farming blueprints while I had the buff and I find the two best caves for doing that are oh, hang on okay oh all my armor not just my gas mask okay let's get rid of this guy quickly um, Oh, and another one. Gee, okay. Come on. Oh, he's still spitting. That one's gone. Where'd the other one go? He's over there. Okay, other than that, the coast looks fairly clear. Uh, maybe I should I'll attack from the rear. Oh, he's gone in the water. Okay. I need to get rid of him quickly. There we go. Level 200, see? <laughs> Uh, anyway, as I was saying, this this um, cave and the Brute, the underwater cave, uh, the Brute, um, I find are the two best caves on the island for farming uh, loot crates. The hard snow cave or ice cave has some pretty decent drops in it, but it's, it's too hard to farm blueprints. <laughs> 
um, in that one, to be honest. The other, these other two caves are much easier. Um, and I think even the hard water cave um, has some decent drops, but again, it's um, it's too hard to just go through and farm stuff. Um, this cave's not too bad if you've got a good level barry, if you're not using cryopods. Um, if you're using cryopods, a megatherium is 100% the way to go because they get their uh, their buff where they do massive amounts of damage and take very little damage um, with uh, with bugs. Right, let's get rid of this guy. I'll try and clear the area so we can check out what's in that loot crate. Um, not likely to be very good, but likely to be better than your average uh, blue crate, I would suggest. Alright, um, whack that in melee. I'm only really going to use these guys for this cave, so to be honest, um, after today... Yeah, wow, the one I'm riding is actually not taking hardly any damage. Um, Alright, now that was pretty rubbish. Uh, <laughs> okay, carbony saddle, blueprint, we'd probably use that if we were looking to tame a Tuso, a squid, um, but we're not, so we won't. Alright, let's head into the next chamber. Now of course the uh, issue here is the deeper in the cave we get, um, if we now for starters, we're now wearing no armor, um, which is okay for all this stuff. Uh, but if another Arthro attacks us, uh, then we're in trouble because the Arthro, um, the spit will damage the player um, as well as his armor. So, uh, so first thing is uh, I will take damage from the Arthro myself. Um, second thing is if my gas mask goes, I've only got one left. Uh, to get out of the cave. Uh, so the deeper in the cave you get, the uh, harder it's going to be to get out. And I think, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think, for example, if my gas mask, my last gas mask broke in this final chamber, um, I don't think I'd live long enough to get out of the cave. Uh, probably not. But anyway, I should have brought some help crews. That would have... Uh, that would have been a smart idea, wouldn't it? Hindsight. There you go. All right. Just a lot of spiders. Uh, haven't seen an Arthro yet, which is good news. There's a red loot crate down there. So the red loot crates in uh, two red loot crates spawn locations here. One in front of these orange uh, spider eggs, I think they are, similar to what you see in the uh, Broodmother Arena. Uh, and then that other one down there in the water um, that we just went past. So um, both very good drops, but I tend to find uh, if you come in this room, I'm just trying to not to lose my concentration on what I'm doing at the same time. Um, when you come in this room, one of the two will have spawned. Uh, if you then leave the room and come back again, the second one will spawn. Um, but I do tend to find you only get one lot of decent loot. Um, okay, so... Oh, shit, I think we just aggroed the Arthro. That was not what I wanted to do. All right, kind of committed with this guy, at least. Uh, and a few other things. Okay. So there is, uh, there is an Explorer note in that tunnel in front of us. Um, where's the frog? Oh, the other frog's over there. Okay. Yeah, that's not ideal. I'd like some help, please. Oh, okay, all right. Well, well, then we'll do it down here, shall we? <laughs> we can do that too. That works. Uh, yeah, so the other frog must have got knocked off the view or must have accidentally fallen off the edge. And because it was on follow, it was just running into a wall trying to get out. Let's get rid of these spiders. The arthro is gone. That's good. Okay. Whoop. Let's see if we can lead this other guy up here. Yep, that's it. 
So that other chamber um, has a couple of explorer notes in it, uh, but nothing um, other than that that's worth going in there for, unless you want levels by killing stuff. Um, yeah, in there. So we can go in here and as long as there are no other Arthros in here, we'll be okay. Um, the Arthros are my concern. Okay. I don't think there are, actually. It's not looking like there are. Not yet, anyway. They do hide in the walls. We know what their uh, those sneaky wall Arthros are like. Uh, is that one? No, that's a snake. Good. Okay, no, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Nice. Uh, that tunnel keeps going back. I think. Um, I think if you you can crawl through it, there's an explorer note there. Um, I don't think the frog will get through here. Give it a try. Okay, see, so still haven't really taken much damage. It's not too bad. Um, okay, no, so we can't get through there. I have a feeling that leads up to the artifact. I'm not 100% sure of that, but um, I remember crawling through it once looking for an explorer note that I'd missed. On, uh, on foot. <laughs> it's not fun. All right, let's go. So if we now come back out of here and go left and up that other tunnel, um, that is where the artifact is. But before we do that, let's grab this loot crate because I'd like to get the other one to spawn. Um, so I'm just gonna go, can't really see what's in the water. Um, you get a lot of leeches in here. So we'll just sort of go around and try and clear those. But you do sometimes get a bonus Arthropleura in the water here hiding, or, or Titan Boa. Well, I think most of those would have aggroed by now. Uh, I don't know what happened to my other frog. Where'd he go? Uh, lost our... We lost our mate! Oh, there. Okay. What are you? You're stuck on a snail. Of course you are. Here all day trying to kill that. Okay, let's um, let's go. You following me? Yep. Thank you. All right, let's go back and see if we can get this loot crate. All right, water. Oh, I was going to say water seems to be clear, <laughs> and then it wasn't. All right, that's pretty good. Yep. You know the moment, <laughs> there we go. I was going to say, you know the moment I get off, a leech is going to appear. That's how this is going to work. Let's uh, chomp on some food, getting a bit hungry. And let's try and grab what's in there and then hop on there quickly. What do we get? Uh, Mastercraft Megatherium Saddle. A bit average, actually, for this, uh, this drop. Normally get some pretty good stuff. It's not a bad saddle, to be fair. Um, for the Megatherium I'm not using. <laughs> uh, there you go. Alright, let's go up into here. I don't think the frog will go all the way in. Um, no. So, up until this point... Oh, Megalane. I was just about to say, up until this point, you can still get stuff spawned. Like a Megalania. Uh, let's get rid of that guy. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Um, but past uh, this bit here, I've never seen anything spawn in this section. So you can go up here on foot, which is just as well, because nothing will fit through that hole. And there is the artifact of the immune. And that is the swamp cave on frogs. 
I have to say. Um, thanks to the guy that suggested it. That was, um, I wouldn't say it was easier than Omega Ethereum. It was a lot less fuss because of not messing around with cryopods. Um, here we go. So our second loot drop has spawned. Uh, I'm not particularly hopeful for the quality of this one. The second one tends to be pretty poor, but that's not actually better than the first. Although equally as useless. There we go. Now there is another side tunnel um, off. Uh, yep, he's following. Um, off to the right as we go out, um, which you can see branches off to the right there. If we go through here, uh, I don't think any loot crates will have spawned in here because that blue crate that we hit as we came in. Um, if that blue crate isn't there, then there's usually a loot crate in here somewhere. Uh, either in here or in that other chamber that we were just in a second ago. Um, but given that we had that blue loot crate, nothing will spawn in here. And these don't respawn back again for like, you know, 30 minutes or something like that. So um, unless you brought plenty of gas masks, it's not worth hanging around for. Try and get these. Bugs seem to be taking a long time to kill. Okay, well that's it. So let's head on out of the cave. Okay, on our way out. We've picked up a leech along the way. Um, so back out the same tunnel we came in. Now, nothing respawns inside the cave while you're in there, but this exit tunnel... Um, stuff respawns in here. So in particular, Arthra Plura are a bit of a pain. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, we've got two there. So let's try and get these quickly before they do any damage to us. Um, okay, 240, that's a high level one. Let's focus on him. Alright, yep. These are not uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm actually taking a bit of damage there. So they are... Oh, okay. I look like I'm about to die. Um, I'm going to just try and get out of here, I think. Let's just go. Wow. I can hear... It's always when you hear your heart beating. That's uh, never a good sign. All right. Oh, there's a spider. We can get rid of that. I'm not afraid of that. But the Arthro, yeah, one more hit from that Arthro, and I think we would have died. <laughs> Which would have been awkward, to say the least. Well, there we go. Swamp Cave. Um, yeah. Gee, not without its issues. Uh, I wish I'd brought a second set of armor. I think if I'd learnt anything, I brought three gas masks, but only the set of armor I was wearing. That was probably a mistake. <laughs> Uh, so maybe in hindsight, uh, more armor would have been a good idea. But frogs, definitely a great idea, to be honest. Um, that worked really well. These weren't imprinted, uh, sorry, they were imprinted, but they had not mutated. Um, they're just sort of reasonable level ones that I tamed. Like I think one was a 135, one might have been a 145. Um, yeah, pretty easy. I think I'll use frogs in future. Well, there we go. Artifact of the Immune. That is the final artifact we need to battle the dragon. So, dragon fights up next. Um, we also managed to get ourselves a hell of a lot of cement in place there. So, that was a good score. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, maybe drop a like. Um, subscribe if you like the content and you're looking forward to more. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Lama, and I'm out of here.